My name is uh, Dr. Martin Serengo. I work at uh, the Ministry of Health in the HIV program as the head of National AIDS and STI Control Program. The award that uh, I received a couple of weeks ago from High Excellence, the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta, was in recognition of my contribution as the head of the technical advisory team for Beyond Zero uh, from 2013. So it, it's really humbling to, to receive an award like that when you're just simply doing your work. Um, when we, we, we launched the elimination of mother to child transmission strategy in 2012, our aim was to reduce uh, the number of new infections among children to less than 5,000 uh, between the year 2012 and 2015. So between that time, we actually did achieve uh, about a 40% reduction. Come 2015, the, the, the efforts even went a notch higher. So we had even a further reduction now, totaling to about 75% reduction of new infections. And hence, um, the ceremony that happened, uh, what we call the Leadership Summit, and several people were awarded for, for their efforts towards that. So as we speak, we have just about 6,000 there about new infections, a reduction from over 27,000, just in a span of about uh, five years, which is really remarkable, and we're very happy for that. My whole experience in MPPM is actually what every, I would say, every public servant needs. Having gone through this course, I have a better understanding when I'm talking to people about uh, our partnerships than I was before. So I recommend for anyone. Going to the US was very, was, was, was very impactful. Um, of course, here in class we've had uh, visiting lecturers coming uh, and they give us different uh, perspectives of the world and looking at things other than the Kenyan perspective and the African perspective. So going to New York, we had lessons there and, and uh, visited uh, several places including the International Monetary Fund, the World Bank. Then you get to actually get a feeling of how things are cooked in these uh, transnational organizations uh, before they reach here. We actually were taken through quite a number of things, including how if you wanted to work for an international organization, what steps do you need to take? The other experience was uh, we had a practical session about cross-cultural negotiations. And, and that was very, very, very important because in our work we just don't deal with people around us. You get involved with the partnerships across the world. You may have donors coming in from Japan, from the US. So you need to know their culture for you to be able to, 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 to anchor your, your negotiations in the right way. And of course, over and above that, one um, activity that I remember very well was the, the dinner on a cruise ship around New York. Oh my. It was breathtaking. I still have nice photos. <laughs> this program of MPPM is uh, one that I'll recommend for all public policy um, practitioners uh, because uh, it's transformational. You get to learn quite a lot of uh, how to deal with the politics. There's a bit of political science. There's human resource management I deal with people. There's strategic planning and, and, and management. Um, there's negotiation. There's conflict and peace building. All those things, we do them in our daily work. And, and so for me, this came as a plus. And uh, because of that, I think I'm a different person today.